Hi, I'm Harold Steves. I have just been participating in the New Westminster Doc Fest and the filming of the major feature film GMOOMG. It's a great film and it tells, tells the story really well of the problems of GMOs in Canada and the USA. It's very timely because we have a vote in Washington State uh, coming up right away as to whether or not that GMOs should be labeled. Uh, GMOs are not labeled and this is a real problem simply because we don't know when we have GMOs in our food. We don't know the effect of GMOs and people should have a choice. Uh, I, if I choose not to eat GMOs then that should be my choice. We should have the freedom to choose what we consume. Oh, it's good to see North Westminster City Council represented. Yes, well, yeah. thank you. So, it's, uh, this came out of that movie, uh, it was fantastic, uh, about uh, GMOs. And for me, it was a real learning experience. And then that whole uh, seed bank that was in Norway quite surprised me. And the first thing I thought about, why doesn't Canada have a seed bank? Yeah, that's a good idea. And, and we as councillors in Richmond and Westminster have put in cosmetic uh, pesticide bylaws and tried to reduce the amount of pesticides and whatnot in our food. And as a matter of fact, uh, we could ban the pesticides and yet we'd still have the GMOs planted that have the pesticides in the plant right. rather than the pesticides going on the land. So right. the best thing that people can do right now is wherever they can find it is to buy local food. And, uh, Where's the best place to purchase that? Well, the farmers uh, markets. That's right, right? your, your yes. farmers market. So yeah. we have farmers market in Westminster, and uh, quite frankly, over the last three years, it's it's grown immensely. Yeah. And uh, it's the farm the farmers market, and if you're close enough to a neighboring farm, get to know your local yeah. farmer. Yeah, absolutely. Or grow your own vegetables. That's uh, that's the other way of doing it. Hi. Join us. Yeah. Hi, Harold. Yeah. How are you and hi. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. So, uh, tell us about what it's like to put on this uh, this incredible uh, doc fest and the, and, the, and the GMO movie. Well, we were really excited about it and uh, we uh, decided that the GMO uh, movie was one that would definitely be of interest to people. And um, this is the third year we put on a New West doc fest so we'd like to thank the city of uh, New West for helping us as well. Yeah. Hi, I'm a volunteer for the uh, Washington State uh, Initiative 522, uh, an initiative to label genetically engineered foods because we believe that people have the right to know what's in their food. Unfortunately now people do not have that right uh, because things are not labeled. In over 40 countries, uh, labeling is already, uh, mandatory labeling is already in effect and uh, <coughs> It's strange that here in North America we don't have that particular right. Yeah. I mean, after all, uh, we have labeling for salt, fat, fiber, you know, all the different things that are in foods. And shouldn't we know that if, uh, if the product has been genetically engineered that uh, we should know what's in the food? We think that's a, a basic right that we should all have. I'm getting some, some pretty wild guitar right now. Do you receive your ballot in the mail already? Next call. And uh, I'm just calling today to see if you voted okay, well, Sophia, have you voted yet? Hi, my name is Kyla and I'm a volunteer with Yes on 522, the campaign to label GMOs. How are you? Good. Yeah, I'm just calling to see if you voted yet. Oh, you have? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Don't forget to tell your friends. Okay, you too. Bye. I'm Harold Steves. And I'm Bill Harper. I'm Doreen Duell, representing the New West Doc Fest. Uh, so come on down to the New West Doc Fest. There's another film tomorrow night. And you're watching Sustainability Television. Thank you.